Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today we have a Google Sheets edition, um, a logistics transport calculator for you. You can use this calculator to estimate your cost for transportation. It's a very basic uh, calculator. You can build upon it and add more layers and custom fit it to your needs, but you can use this as a starting point. So the, sh the file has three sheets, the calculator itself, where you need to choose the source and destination. All right, these are drop-down lists that we'll see later. You need to define, for example, the fee in percentages. And of course, you can add more and more layers to that. And you have to decide which product you want. Again, drop-down list and what quantity. And the calculator will show you the volume in containers and metric tons and the um, total volume for this line and eventually we'll show you the total weight total cost and uh, the final cost of course with the fee okay so this is uh, the first uh, sheet the main sheet um, I just want to tell you if you guys enjoy the content that I'm publishing please make sure to subscribe like and share with your friends and colleagues to help this channel grow, I would really appreciate that if you just squash that button. Thank you. So, where uh, some of the information is coming from, there's a sheet called product data, where you define the product, like table, chair, and sofa, and the volume in containers and metric tons. Um, then to use the drop down, if you're not familiar with that, that's very simple. Go to data data validation and here you select list from you know what I'll just do it from the beginning go to data data validation it will look like this you click over here on this and you just select the first one and I just like to keep this blank and that will just give it everything that you have all the way down and reject input as I don't want you to be able to uh, input any other value. Save and that's it. That's how you do the drop down list. Very easy, very simple. So that's the product data. Transport cost is where you define the source and destination and the costs. And you'll notice that I only highlighted this column because I'm using the transpose formula to um, give that same um, names in the column. In the, in the row so you have a source and destination and the logic here is that here you would put the the cost to transport uh, one container from here to here so from Paris to Tokyo is $500 but inside London it's $125 and of course you can change that however you see fit so these are the two um, data sheets so we covered how we do the product drop down list the quantity of course is a number again this is the drop down list same as before only for this column and this I'm using index match and of course you can use only um, you can use also VLOOKUP if you want but I just used index match for this and um, if you're not familiar with index match and the index sheet uh, f uh, formula basically um, asks s certain table what column you, or what row you want to find and then what column um, and gives you the exact uh, location it's very useful if you have a changing um, column header okay so that's the index match to capture these this is just the multiple of quantity and weight container cost again index match only over here and the total cost I'm just using roundup because uh, the price is per container so it's a roundup of the number of containers times the container cost weight is the weight and that's about it fee and total cost times 
v plus 1. All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoy the content, and I will see you next time.